Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option. Well, you're looking at it, the 2018 BMW X3. I'm not sure what trim level we're going to build. It's, 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 it's probably not going to be the top tier trim level. Here's why. Uh, here's why. Well, before I tell you, real quick, uh, if you find this content helpful or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. You can see the little icon in, down in the bottom corner uh, just floating there. If you click it, you can just subscribe. That really helps me out, and then you get really great content because if you hit the little notification thing, the little bell thing, I think that shows up. I'm not sure. Um, then you can get notifications when I release new content, and then if it's something that you're interested in, you can look at it. If it's not, you wait till the next time. Sort of that kind of thing. Anyway, here's why I'm not going to build out, probably not going to build out the top tier level of this vehicle. Because I just did a vehicle, or I just did a, a build and price review of the 2019 Subaru Ascent. It's a seven vehicle. And yeah, I know. I know that an X3 doesn't compete with an Ascent. I know that. It, but I don't care about that stuff. I'm looking, I'm looking at the Subaru Ascent. And then if I like BMW or Mercedes, I'm thinking to myself, what equivalent BMW or Mercedes? Because I'm going to do a Mercedes one as well. So I'm going to put a couple of links up. I'm going to put a link up to uh, the Subaru Ascent video that I'm doing, which started this whole thing. And then I'm going to put a link up to the Mercedes video that I have yet to do. But by the time I put this video up, that video is going to be done. So I'm not sure what, uh, what Mercedes, equivalent Mercedes, I'm going to do. When I say equivalent, I'm kind of looking at pricing. Because the top tier uh, Ascent, basically $50,000. Can we get an X3 for that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is go over this whole page. We can see the slider right here. You can see me sliding down this page. So there's a, quite a bit of information. So we're going to call this a good overview. This is going to be a, a real review. We're going to go over this car. Find out about the X3. Now, its base price starts under fifty thousand dollars. So, can we can we can we get into one of these? Yeah, we can get into one of these. Is it gonna have the uh, the the equipment and features of that Subaru Ascent? I could already tell you. No, it's not. No, it's not. But let's see. Let's see because I, that's what I was talking about in that Subaru video. So let's see. We're gonna take a look at this thing. All right. So. Um, it's got 62.7 cubic feet of cargo, cargo space. It does have a lot of horsepower, though. It's got a lot more horsepower than the Subaru. Uh, and it's got 8 inches of ground clearance, which I think is a little bit less than the Subaru. I think the Subaru was 8.5. And, and I would talk on the Mercedes, but I haven't done that one yet. Uh, but it's got a lot of, this one's got a lot of horsepower. So, you know, you're going to be trading something for something, right? Uh, so it says, seize any reason for adventure and accept no compromises along the way. The popular BMW X3 sports activity vehicle is reborn in three invigorating styles. Comfortable interiors, powerful engines, and intuitive controls come together in a vehicle where the passion for driving is more apparent than ever before. Now that talks to me. That talks to me right there. I, now, I don't know if, if this is the first time you're looking at one of my videos, but I've, I've done a lot of videos, and so I've been to a lot of these car manufacturers' websites. Now, they are talking my kind of language. All right, um, and you don't see that all the time. Now, uh, highlights here, rugged and ready. So 8 inches of ground clearance. Uh, available suspension options include adaptive M Sport suspension for the M40i. Also ensures comfortable comfort and control when you're cruising on the highway. All right, so as I was reading that, I was thinking, all right, well, you know, the top tier Subaru was it, technically it was just under fifty thousand dollars. Now, the reality is, is yeah, we can build one of these for probably the same price point. Not going to have a lot of options on it. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do because it is a BMW, and, and it is. That's just the way it is. You're not. You, you're not. We'll see. But I'm probably going to make it within probably ten thousand dollars of that Subaru. Right. I'm going to make it within ten thousand dollars of that Subaru. So we're going to build one of these, and it's going to be under $60,000, okay? And I'm not going to try to build it up to $59,900. I'm I'm, I want to try to make it as I'm trying to get everything I really, really want without – I'm going to try to get it all without spending it all, okay? That's a saying that I, I've, I, I've always said. I'm going to try to get it all without spending it all. So let's see if we can do that with this car. So 
because it's got a lot of stuff and I and I just I felt I just need to say that because it's got a lot of options oh I don't want to go that far see it kicked us all the way down I didn't think it was gonna do that all right so rugged and ready all right so that was that high capacity park for any destination all new BMW x3 can accommodate everything your adventure requires um, so this is not a seven seater however and or optional eight seater like that Subaru and we know that or maybe you didn't know that it isn't all right so so we're not gonna be able to get that we'd have to get into an x5 for that and that's just right that's just above the price point that's just not gonna happen so we're, I came down to the x3 so we're giving up some we're giving up some available seating and we're giving up some seating and some other things all right so do know that going in all right uh, it's a very nice vehicle though it is a nice vehicle. The fit and finish is going to be nice, you know, uh, but, but it's going to be some differences here. Uh, let's see. Passion for your performance. Drive free. Uh, every all-new X3 comes standard with the 8-speed Steptronic Sport Transmission with paddle shifts uh, tuned specifically to match the engine's performance characteristics. Driving dynamis dynamicism is, and efficiency is noticeably improved with xDrive. Right, that's the four-wheel drive system. Now they've this is the hot one, right? The M40i. Now that one's going to probably be really expensive, but they've got the it's standard on the X3 with the X drive, uh, with the three-liter motor and the M40i, which is going to have the hotter motor, uh, the faster motor. Mm, this one's probably this is probably the M45 body because you can see it's got that M body style, and this one certainly doesn't look quite as sporty as 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 this one does. Different wheels, et cetera, et cetera. Definitely not as pronounced of an M body on that, on this white one here, as it is on this blue one. Blue one's very nice. Now, I'm not usually a blue car person, but this particular vehicle, I could certainly do in blue. Um, here's the interior, and it's a very nice place to be. Very nice place to be. Uh, look, at the, look at the quality of the leather, the fit and finish, the materials. Look at the dead pedal, your footrest right there. All aluminum with the grippies. And then you've got the gas pedal and the same deal. Looks like if you, it's really shaded, but the brake, the brake pedal is the same deal. Now, I don't know what model is being shown, so that's probably not standard equipment. This is probably the, the Sport, the M Sport model, because that's an M Sport deal right here. Uh, but let's read about this. Intelligent Connections, a seamless interface, the optional navigation system featuring the latest version of iDrive puts a driver's world at your fingertips with an intuitive interface that responds to touch, voice commands, or optional gesture control. Essential driving information appears on the optional 8.8-inch instrument screen or the 12.3-inch screen of the uh, optional dynamic digital instrument cluster available with the executive tier, right? They're talking about here. This is You can get this all digital. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, just some more shots. Nice shots. This is definitely like the M M40i version. It's just very good. Safety conscious. The active protection system continually monitors for accident risks and alerts the driver to take action when needed. Available driving and parking assistance systems add an extra layer of protection when you're cruising down the highway or parking at your destination. And drag racer, less resistance, more performance. The improved aerodynamics of the all-new X3, including BMW Active Kidney Grill and BMW Air Curtains, reduce fuel consumption and noise levels while helping the engine run more efficiently. And the M aerodynamic kit, that's the body, standard on the M40i, adds eye-catching, I can't even pronounce that word, gray metallic design cues, right? Because I think like right here, it's gray. Look, the mirror caps are gray. Around the, the surrounds around the kidney grills are gray, and that's probably that color gray they're talking about. Uh, wow, that's attractive too. Power performer, outpaced predecessors. The latest BMW Twin Power Turbo 2-liter four-cylinder engine provides a power boost and faster acceleration uh, to the X3 S drive. That's the one that doesn't have all-wheel drive. And then the X drive, that's the one that does. So S is two-wheel drive. X is all-wheel drive. And fine-tuned three-liter in-performance twin turbo. That's, and then they had the six-liter engine, right, which propels that. The sport. Ooh, this is the M40 right there. You can even see the M badge right there. So this one gets that six, the six-cylinder, and this has the two-cylinder. I'm sorry, the six-cylinder engine. This one has the four-liter. I'm sorry, the two-liter four-cylinder engine. Uh, but this one rips zero to sixty times of four point six seconds. Right, right. This one down here. It's it's sporty, right? It's sporty. Woo! Look at the iDrive six point buddy. 
See, this I just got to love Mercedes, uh, BMW. All right. Nav navigate naturally. The intuitive interface of the latest iDrive system includes natural language understanding so you can simply say what you want to do from finding a destination to choosing a radio station and let your BMW do the rest. That's hot. And they give you the best loaners when you got to go take your car in for service and all of that great stuff. Look at the look at the stitching back here on the on the on the uh, on the dash, all the way up on the dash here. Look at the leather stitching, that fit and finish, attention to detail. I like it. Um, let's go to the next slide. Woo! Now, I usually never say this. I I always say that I just like heads up display. BMW's heads-up display is usually, usually the best in the business, right? Look at that map. Look at that. Attention to detail. You would think I was selling BMWs, but I'm not. I just like them. I like them a lot. I've had great BMWs, like my 540i. I'm going to throw a clip up. Now I know how to do it. Uh, so this has heads-up display, right? You can get vital driving information and see what's coming with the optional heads-up display. Navigation guidance, collision warnings, your speed and speed limits are projected directly on the windshield. Now, I one time when I took my, uh, I had a BMW 550i or maybe it was my 540. Um, either way, I took one in and I had a loaner and it had heads up display and it also had the music up there too. It had my music as well. So I don't know if they do that anymore. They didn't mention it right here and maybe they just don't put all the stuff that it can do in this little paragraph. Maybe that's the deal as well. Um, look at the shifter. Beautiful. It's a work of art in and of itself. This looks like a wireless charging pad right here, doesn't it? And it's probably optional. Then you got the USB right here, right? Get rid of the cords. Get rid of the cords. Cut the cords. And I think BMW, with their I, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can connect via Bluetooth so you don't have to do it through a cable. Anyway, uh, wireless charging. <laughs> I wasn't even reading this because I was just so into it. Um, let me get back to where I was. Uh, wireless charging and Wi-Fi hotspot. An optional charging pocket in the central console provides intuitive, I'm sorry, inductive wireless charging for your compatible smartphone. The onboard Wi-Fi hotspot lets your passengers connect with ease with three gigabytes of data included free for three months. All right, so what does the subscription run you? Um... Then they got 3D surround view, right? There's cameras all over from every angle, from every, anywhere. Optional 3D surround view lets you view your vehicle remotely, wow, on BMW Connected app so you can make sure your BMW is in safe surroundings and right where you left it. Now, that's tight. For a car guy like me, that's tight. Let's hope we can get this thing under 60000 <laughs> Gesture control. A simple motion is all it takes. Available gestures control lets you uh, operate selected functions from changing the volume to answering or rejecting phone calls and setting custom controls t totally touch-free. All right, now let's find out about the motor. So there's two motors. Um, the latest evolution. So you've got the 2-liter provides output of 248 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Now, I did uh, own a 2015 uh, BMW X1 for about three years. And um, it had this motor in it. And you know what? The motor the motor's adequate. It, it's adequate. I lived with it for a long time. It's peppy. Uh, uh, it's peppy. You can, you can put a chip in this thing, too. If, you, if you're into that kind of thing, you can go to Dynan or something like that and, and upgrade this thing and, and put it out over 300 horsepower if you really want to do the thing. Okay? If you really want to do the thing. Um, so, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And look at the torque. It makes that torque at 1,400 RPMs. You've got to understand that making that torque from 1,400 RPMs all the way up to 5,000 RPMs, that's what, that, the torque is what makes the car shove you back in your seat. And, and so it, can make, it holds that torque for all that RPM range. It's, the car is just, it makes it feel super sporty. That's, that's just the bottom line. Now, the one I like, the big dog, 355 horse, Basically, 370 pound-feet of torque. Now, this is the one that's going to move right here, right? And it's still making that torque way down low as well. And it's got a top speed of a buck fifty-five. I could take this one out to the track. See, now this one's got real utility because it could do everything that I need to do during the week. And when I really feel like I need to go out to the track for whatever reason for a couple of minutes, then it can do that too. TOO as an also. And then if I wanted to go put some dining parts on it, man, I should do a dining thing. Maybe I will. Maybe make, let me make a note 
okay, my mouth just made it made myself uh, create another video. So now I'm going to make another video, and it's going to be a link to dine and stuff that we can do with this car. And I'm going to put that link up. It'll be right here. So make sure you watch this whole video and then get over to that. Because I'm going to do this M40i, man. You know, I just have to. I just, I just have to. That's the good stuff. All right. So an intelligent chassis. Tell me about it. Advanced BMW engineering at work. Dynamic stability control, DSC. Provides remarkable tenacity on slippery road surfaces. I'm not going to read everything every time. So if I'm moving along and you want to catch something and I'm not reading it, just, you know what, pause the video real quick, read it, and then we can move on. Um, let's find out about the X-Drive real fast. Uh, X-Drive, BMW's intelligent all-wheel drive system, works in tandem with dynamic stability control to monitor road conditions. Once it senses excess slip, it smartly sends power to the wheel with the surest footing, right, with the most grip improving traction and delivering neutral responsive handling and then what what's dynamic damper control they don't change the photo uh, by instantly adjusting your shock absorbers from the softest to firmest settings dynamic damper control probably ddc available as part of the optional dynamic handling package make a note of that uh, allows you to choose a ride that's smooth and comfortable for cruising or sport, sporty and firm for spirited drives. So say, for instance, you like to go uh, traveling by road, and maybe you like to take the roads least less traveled. That would mean you might take the twisties in the back roads a little more often. Well, you probably want this dynamic handling package. I think I do. Um, all right, distinctive by design. Um, the X line, that's not cute at all. <laughs> that's not cute at all. 18-inch uh, Y-spoke wheels. Uh, exterior trim elements, bumper add-ons, and rocker panels create a satin aluminum appearance. Right here, when they say rocker panels, I don't know if you know what a rocker panel is. That's down here. Your rocker panel lives lives down here. That's not cute. What's the luxury line look like? Eh. Let your BMW shine with this dressed in press design, high gloss chrome accents, yada yada yada. I, I'm, I'm all down for either the M Sport or the M40i. This design is standard on the X3 M40i, and then you can get you can option it on you can get it optionally. You can option any one of them with the M Body Kit. And if you're gonna do it, get it with the M Body Kit, man. Those those are attractive. You hardly ever see them. And anytime I catch like you know, I wish I would have gotten that X1 with the M Sport package. It would have been a lot more fun. I got real bored of that thing after a while. It was still pretty nice. But I would have liked it a lot more if it had the M body, if it would have had the M Sport package. It would have been super cool, super cool, super cool. So if you get these, get them with the M Sport. I just think they're better. That's just my opinion. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, features, page, uh, features, packages, and options make your X3 one of a kind. Simplicity tier. All right. So tell us about this. Uh, pure enjoyment. Chase adventure around every corner. Standard features like the sport leather steering wheel, sport automatic transmission, and sport seats lets you live in the moment and let nothing come between you and the road. It's standard on these vehicles, okay? That was the simplicity tier. Now, what about the convenience tier? Driver focused, okay? Uh, and you can see down here what it's available on, which means it's an optional. Add an extra degree of ease to your day. Comfort access lets you lock, unlock, and open the doors and tailgate without finishing, without fishing for your keys. While LED headlights and in your corner with cornering lights intelligently light the way during <laughs> way during after dark drives. Okay, premium tier. Now something we were reading, something said executive tier. So that's the one I've kind of got my eyeball on. But we're gonna look at all of them. So premium tier, the full color head-up display. Okay, so that's what it takes to get into the head-up display. Only available at the premium tier. Projects available projects vital driving data right in right in your line of sight and on your latest BMW advanced real-time driving information helps avoid uh, slowdowns. Okay, so available with and, and we're building out the M40, so we can grab that on that. What's the executive tier give us? And it's also available on that. Um, command every aspect so we get the 12 point th so we get the digital dash instrument cluster and we get gesture control and we get parking assist plus active park distance control surround view and 3d uh, view cameras that's the executive tier what's it going to set us back though we're already I've already busted us right out of the whole let's compare this to the Subaru thing right scratch that whole thing scratch that whole thing apparently because we're building out the M40i so that's already going to bump us, you know, but, but who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I have no idea what it's going to run us. 
Uh, but let's look at this driving assistance package. And it's available on, on, on the tier we want too. This package includes active cruise control, stop and go, um, active driving assistance, which includes blind spot detection, frontal collision warning, line, lane keep assist, all, all that good stuff. So all, all your top tier uh, tech stuff lives in the driving assistance package. So I don't know how many packages I'm willing to go because I'm not trying to option this thing up to as, as high as it can go. I, I have a ceiling. I still would like to make this under $60,000, honestly. I just don't, re I don't know what the, what the MSRP is, but we're about to find out what the MSRP is on the, M on the BMW X3 M40i, right? That's, that's the way you say it. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. The 2018 BMW X3 M40i comes with a 3-liter M-Performance twin turbo inline 6, 0 to 64.6. Its standard starting MSRP is just done. It's 54,500. So it's doable. It's doable. Could you could you possibly go into a dealer and have a wheel and deal? Possibly. So so it's doable. Let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's look at. Should we look at the standard features really fast? Should we really quick? Yeah, possibly. All right, so what do we got here? Performance and efficiency. Let's just real quick. So we know about it. We've got that 3-liter BMW M Performance twin turbo engine, right? We know it puts out 355 horse, and we know it makes its torque way down low, like around 1,500 RPMs, all right? It's got the air curtains and air breather system. Like, I'm not going to read everything, so if you want to catch everything, then make sure you hit pause. I'm just looking kind of for highlights. It's got the M exhaust system. It's got that eight-speed tranny with the paddle shifts. It's got brake energy regeneration. They call it KERS in Formula One. It's got the driving dynamics control, right? I think they all do. That's pretty standard. So let's roll that up uh, for exterior, right? What kind? Okay, so it's running on run flats. It's got 19-inch tires, 245.50s all the way around, uh, panoramic roof. Adaptive full LED headlights, LED fog lights, a roof spoiler. It's loaded. I mean, it's it's 55 grand, but you're getting a lot. Aerodynamic kit, shadow line exterior. That means instead of chrome bits, it's got black bits around like the window trim. So it's not chrome. It's it's black bits. Uh, it's got that ceramium, cerium gray finishes like the mirror crap, uh, craps, caps and stuff. Uh, chrome exhaust tips. What's on the interior? Tell us about that. 14-way power seats, uh, aluminum rom rom rhombical trim, Sensatec upholstery. That's not a leather. We're going to have to put some leather upholstery in there. Uh, tell us about the audio system. That's going to be standard, but it's got 12 speakers in it. And you know what? The the X1 I was leasing had the, the base system. It wasn't even the Harman car, and, and that thing bumped. I'm not even joking. That thing bumped. I mean, it bumped. So the standard stereo is off the chain. So I want to upgrade it, but the standard systems on these things bump for real. I'm not even joking. It, that one did, and I don't see why this one wouldn't either. Um, got the updated iDrive. Got the three-spoke leather steering wheel, rear window defogger, tire pressure monitor, rear view camera, uh, engine start stop, advanced vehicle and key memory, comfort access, keyless entry, Automatic three-zone climate, power windows, rain-sensing wipers. Uh, do you have the side window shades? I'm kind of looking for that ambient lighting, I see. Universal garage door opener. Some other people call that home link. Other manufacturers call that stuff home link. Uh, under safety, you know, standard stuff, but a lot of it. Anti-theft, programmable LED daytime running lights, BMW assistant. Uh, and then you've got your warranty stuff, which is four-year unlimited mileage for your roadside, four-year 50, 12-year uh, rust protection. Okay, so that's all the standard features. It was worth going into it. It just is. Uh, do we need to look at specs real fast? Uh, no, we don't need that. I can tell you that much. So, yeah, just real quick specs. There's, that, there's the torque. There's your horsepower. Um, your compression ratio is... a. Uh, 11 to 1, top speed. Uh, ours is going to be 155. Uh, run flat tires, that is correct. The length is 186. Right? I don't know what the towing capacity is. 
Uh, shoulder room is, is adequate at 57. That's good. That's good. 57 is good. Front and rear, 56 in the back. Headroom's 41. All right, you know what? I think we're ready for the building price. Let's, let's hit the back button. Then I think we need to hit the back button again. And then, yeah, that's going to get us to this. Yeah, here we are. X3 M40i. There we go. Build your own. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. What color do we want to have? What color do we want to have? So we're at $55,000. I said I kind of wanted to still try to keep this thing at 60. I don't know how realistic it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm really going to try not to blow this thing through the roof. I'm really going to try not to blow it through the roof. I'm going to try not to, if there's places where I can make a shortcut, I will. Now, what's up with the blue? I said I could do blue on this, and I probably could. This looks a little darker than it looked on the other photos. Uh, I don't want to do dark grass. I know I don't want to do super dark. Glacier silver, I think that's too light. White might be too stark. Kind of cool, though. Kind of cool. Let's take a look at a couple of these other photos real fast. I like that for, this, for the photo. What do you think of the blue? With the blue brake calipers? Maybe. Maybe. That's an upgrade of 550 though. That cost us 550 That cost us 550 The white cost us nothing. Let's get the white. And it's Alpine white. That's like classic. My 540, that picture I showed you, that's Alpine white, and that's hot. So Alpine white it is. Alpine white it is. And let's go to wheels. I just want to scroll down, make sure there was nothing else. So that cost us nothing. Let's go to wheels. Now, we're not going to scrimp on wheels, though. I'm a wheel guy. We're not scrimping on wheels. Now, I, if there's optional 20s, and I know there are, we're going to option them. So if I mouse over these, let's get a, side, a better side shot. How about those? So these are the 19-inch M double-spoke bicolor wheels styled 698M with performance run flat tires, right? These are those with the all-season run flat tires. These are performance. So these meaning if you live in a state where, there's, where it snows, then guess what? You're going to have to put some winter tires on this bad boy. You're going to want it with with the all season. I think that's the way to go. And then what are these? These are the 20 inch with performance. And then these are going to be what the all season with performance run flat. Okay. So if I want to upgrade to 20 inch wheels, then guess what? I'm going to have to buy myself a set of 19 inch wheels to run in the winter time. You know what? Do I care? <laughs> Not really. Not really. When I just got done saying this whole speech, <laughs> And then when we get to my stuff, then I don't care. So, the oh, these are 21s? I didn't even catch that. These are 21s. Oh, forget it. I certainly don't care. At least they're run flats. At least they're run flats. And then I guess in the winter time, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll get another SUV <laughs> to drive in the winter. Anyway, because this thing's like a little sports car. It's so fun. Because we're going to do the dining stuff. This thing's going to be a little sports car. Check it out. 21-inch double-spoke uh, wheels. They're those gray ones. Style 718M, $1,900. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make this thing $60,000, and we're going to do it for performance. We're, this, this car is going to be built for around performance, hopefully. That's, that's the deal. It's going to be built around performance because it has a lot of standard features. It's got the stuff we need, really. It's got the tech. The standard stereo rocks. You know, we don't have to go bananas on that stuff. Now, we do have to get out of that leatherette. I don't do leatherette, okay? I'm not doing leatherette. What's this sporty stuff over here? Now, this is the black leather with the blue, with the sporty blue. Let's put that on. Now, that's $1,700, but that looks good. That looks good. Too bad we can't get another interior shot, but what's this? Black Sensitec. Now, what's this black leather? Now, how much does this cost? It's the same price. Now, see, I would have done this if it was going to be cheaper, but it's not going to be cheaper. Now, I just want to see this cognac for the heck of it. Mm, no. Let's do this sporty. Let's do the sporty with the blue. See the contrasting blue stitching? That's attractive. The big chunky steering wheel, all that. You know, I think we're going to skip on the, you know, I don't know what we're going to do about the heads up display and all that because I'm really going to try to come in. We're almost sitting at 60000 already. <sighs> but I, I just can't do the leatherette. I just can't do the leatherette. That is $1,700, but I just can't do the leatherette. Let's go to trims. Now, what's with the aluminum trim versus, and the trim's going to change right here, so you can take a look at it there. That's incremental. What's, what's this? The fine line. Eh. Poplar. I don't really like any of them, to be honest with you. BMW is really messy. I, I don't like any of them, to be honest. None of them are attractive to me. Uh, but maybe this one. Let's just do the aluminum. 
let's just do the aluminum interior trim. I think that looks that one works and and thankfully it's a no cost option. All right. Packages. See, this is where it's gonna hurt. Driver assistance package. So now we gotta be smart. We gotta try to get this thing as close to 60 grand. Right? We got the chunky one though. Uh, experience increased peace of mind behind the wheel. This has um, uh, active blind spot, lane departure warning, pedestrian front collision warning, city collision mitigation. It's a lot for 900. It's a lot for 900, a lot of safety. But hold on. Let's, let's just hang on a second. Now, this does all that, and it takes it a step further. This has got frontal cross-traffic alert and all that stuff. Parking assist. Uh, make parking a breeze with a parking assistance package. A rear view camera lets you see clearly behind and duh, duh, duh. and park distance control provides visual and audio warnings as you approach an object. Uh, the premium package, uh, what does this give you? The premium package, it's too much money anyway. Heated seats, ugh. Oh, you could do that as a standalone option though, so never mind that. Uh, heads up display, that's where that lives. What's the executive package? Oi. Oof, 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 oof. Decisions, decisions. Let's jump over to options real fast. Let's let me take a look at options. Uh, front and rear heated seats. See, that's going to be bundled in a package, isn't it? Because look, there's no price. So what's going to happen? Uh, you see, yeah, it's bundled in a package. So we've got to do the premium package. Let's do not change. Let's hold on on that. Let's go back to packages and look at what that premium package was again, in more detail. So that package is heated front seats. Oh, okay. Well, heads-up display lives there. Heated steering wheel, navigation system, advanced real-time traffic, remote services, front and rear heated seats. Okay, so, all right. It's a smart package. It's a smart package for three grand. Okay, three grand. All right, $61,000. Now, front and rear heated seats, it's a no-cost option, right? Yeah, it's a no-cost option. What, what was it when I did this? Okay, so it does add a little bit. It adds a little bit. Do we need heated rear seats? No, probably not. Probably not. Heated front seats. Heated front seats, we can save that money because it all adds up. Because this parking assistance package is, 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 is interesting to me, right? You need these things, right? And then the uh, driving assistance package has a lot of tech. Active blind spot, lane departure warning. We need that for $900. And we need the parking assistance package for $700. These are things that you can't go back and retroactively buy after you get your car. And so, yes, I want to keep this car at $60,000, but no, not at the expense of not getting the things that I think this thing really, 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 really needs. Like the executive package, I don't really need that. I don't need gesture control. The dynamic instrument cluster is super cool, but I got the heads-up display, so I'm tight with that. I'm good with that. So let's get up out of here already. Um, man, that looks good. I like it. Wireless charging and Wi-Fi hotspot. Rear side, uh, rear manual side window shades. Yes, we need that wireless charging spot too for 500 bones. The Harman Kardon Apple CarPlay. God, just give it to us. Yes, we need this. Yes. 875. See, that's that nickel and dime stuff. Active M suspension. What is that going to give us? Adaptive M suspension offers greater agility and precise response. Yes, we have to get it. You know why? Because you can't retroactively go back and, and do it. That's why. So we got that. But you know what? We're not going to get all this other stuff, though. We're not getting all this other stuff. <laughs> well, I guess we got everything, didn't we? All right. But you know what? I said I did say within ten thousand dollars, didn't I? I did ultimately say within ten thousand dollars, and this vehicle is within ten thousand dollars, and it's everything that I want on it too. Actually, this is a very nice vehicle, very nice vehicle, and you still got. I'm gonna just tell you, spoiler alert. Anyway, the Subaru was forty-eight thousand dollars and change. The top tier Subaru Touring was forty-eight thousand dollars and change. I said that I would build that. I want to do this for. Within $10,000, so that would be $58,000, I mean $68,000. I'm Oh, it would have been $58,000. Never mind. Never mind. I'm way, I'm way over. I'm way over. I'm way over. I'm way over. At any rate, at any rate, this is a nice vehicle. <laughs> I should cut all that out, but I'm not. I'll leave it in because <laughs> I could edit the video, but I'm not. Um, it's a really nice vehicle. It's $65,000 and... 
and I'm going to do this little dining stuff, and that's going to, I'm going to do that on the cheap, meaning I'm just going to maybe just do the chip and an exhaust type of deal, but we'll have to look around. So maybe another five grand on, on dining stuff, you know what I'm saying? So let's go over to summary. Let's go over to summary. You know, this thing kicks butt, though. You're not going to even want another vehicle. That's the whole thing. You're going to be all in on this bad boy, but man, it's everything you could possibly want. And it's a sports car, too. T-O-O, you do that little dining stuff, it's everything you want it to be. You don't have to have another car. And yeah, you might need to get another set of winter wheels, but you've got one vehicle that's like everything. It's like Lord of the Rings, like one ring to rule them all type of deal. So 2018, it's $65,000, 4.60 to 60. And look, it gets 27 miles per gallon. That's the same MPG on the highway as uh, the Subaru Ascent. <laughs> that's awesome. And a lot more power. Um, the colors, Alpine white. We got those hot wheels, the 21s, baby. The black, uh, I can't pr pronounce that, leather interior with the blue accents. Uh, look at the trim. is an aluminum. Um, we already went over the standard features. Uh, those wheels cost us basically two grand, but I guarantee you if you try to get those after the fact and go to the dealer talking about, um, can I get these wheels? They won't be two grand. I'll tell you that much right now. Guaranteed. All right. Uh, the upholstery, 1700 bucks. And then here's all the packages we threw on there. You got to get the Apple CarPlay, wireless charging. This is all the smart stuff you need. You need that. And then you got the destination handling. Total MSRP as built, $66,270. Uh, and I'm going to print this off. I'm printing this off because this vehicle is awesome. I like this. I like this. I could have this and, and, and be real happy with, but with the dine-in bits. Check the dine-in video. Check the dine-in video. I put it up. Check it because it's good. Check it out. Um, I haven't done it yet, but, so, but I know it's going to be good. All right, that's it. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. And like I said, please like, share, and subscribe if you find this helpful. If you subscribe, you get great content, and I get a new subscriber. Good for both of us. Have a great day.